Why, hello, mm, sophisticated monsters, madams, mademoiselles, how art thou? Welcome back to Victory and Glory. Or in our case, getting, well, we're winning and then running everywhere. Recently, Napoleon won a battle here against the Prussians, but his army is so beat up, he needs to come home and refit. Even though we're still at war with the Prussians, we're going to use forced march on our guy, Napoleon's army, because we need to get him in a place where the Prussian army can't attack it, because the Prussian army totally outnumbers us. We're going to have this army come out towards Picardy. That way it's in a port if need be, though we're not really going to use. I would love to... If we tried to march across to the London like that, we would lose all of those guys just about. And then we have another army that is moving towards Madrid to try and knock the Spanish out of the war. Speaking of which, there is a card about that. Uh, where is it? French troops must occupy Madrid. All Spanish regions join the French Empire. And Spain cannot become independent again until liberated. You will gain two allied units in Madrid. So we want to go conquer Spain. Not because we started that war. Oh, look at them come to fight us. Fucking douches. <sighs> allied card play. Germany rebels. This is the British fucking us over. This card may only be played when Germany's diplomatic rating is zero and Prussia's at war with France. When played, there's a 50% chance that the German states will rebel. If that happens, half of all German troops fighting for France are removed from play. I hope we don't have any German troops on the army in the army going towards Madrid. And Prussia gains three land infantry, two regular infantry, and two regular cavalry. German revolt is fizzled out! Hell yeah! They're smart. Maybe it's because Napoleon is marching through their territory right now. Alright, so let us move into Madrid. Uh, we have to fight the three gentlemen there. I don't know how many guys we can put out. So let us put out... Infantry, artillery... Artillery... Cavalry... 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 Well, apparently our commander's good enough where we can put out a lot of guys. Alright, we're gonna just try and square these dudes and then blast them with cannons. Oh, we got rid of one of them. They killed our horse, or our light art. Oh my god. Maybe I need to take a break from this game. I love this game, but recently, anytime anybody goes after artillery like that, they seem to bite it. We lost an artillery. We have maybe three, four artillery left in our entire empire. Uh, I don't think these guys can do shit. We'll bring up a cavalry unit after this. Oh, we can't. We just gotta have the front line go. Of all the things for them to hit, they had to not just hit, but kill an artillery unit. Let's hope that when Spain joins us, that they have an artillery unit to make up for that. Uh, we are definitely going to initiate pursuit, if not only, if anything, to be an asshole. Well, not to be an asshole. They attacked us. They're the assholes. Wipe yourself, perverts. Joys of victory. The enemy leader, generic leader. Oh, not that guy again. <laughs> Has been killed while scurrying from battle. Generico leader. -o. Another cannon lost. We are running out of artillery. Alright, can we play that card now? Kingdom of Spain. Well, we cannot do that until they're friendly neutral, so we can't do that until they surrender. We're going to have to wait a turn. That's not a big deal. Let's get Napoleon's army here. These militia guys are going to bite it if I don't go defend them. But you know what? Fuck it. They can go die. Because I don't want to lose any people to the Spanish army. I don't care if the Spanish army goes into Paris. Our guys will not surrender. They go in, they kill two militia. In the end, we're okay. Uh, horse artillery! Yes, I want that. We're running out of artillery as it is. Uh, we will attempt to retreat. Our guys will probably get murdered. That's alright. Spain has been defeated. He's like, oh, I love my pipe. What are you, British wearing all that red? You have humbled the mighty Spanish Empire. Your troops have occupied Madrid and the Iberian Peninsula. Well, same thing. Now obeys your command. 
Portugal is like, we don't. Diplomacy has reduced Spain to the status of a friendly neutral. Uh, but the stage is now set to take matters further and reshape the destiny of Spain using the Kingdom of Spain card event. This event allows you to modernize the Kingdom of Spain, join it to the Empire permanently, and achieve a greater victory. Uh, we can't draw a card. You're entitled to draw two cards when you defeat a major power. However, you cannot draw any event cards because the region of Paris is occupied. I can deal with that. That's all right. Uh, Russia is neutral again. All right, let us use our card. It sucks we didn't get to draw any cards for beating Spain, but it, it was better not to draw cards than lose a bunch of troops. Oh, we can't use the card because Spain's occupied? Oh, shit. Oh, Paris is because there's still British troops. All right, I got you. We don't have a forced march card, do we? No, we do have horse artillery, though. Why don't we use that? Oh, we, oh, I forgot. We can't use any cards as long as our capital is occupied. What is this here? Two artillery units and four cavalry. Well, we should be able to run that over. I would hope. That wouldn't be a major battle, though. That could be a problem. There we go. Run away. Now we can use that card. Uh, Russian troops getting back online. That's a pain in the ass, if you ask me. Kingdom of Spain. Boom. Spain is now a part of the Empire. I don't know what to do now, though. Do we leave these guys down here to defend? That's a problem. Not to mention we're still at war with those guys. And we got stupid British troops in our territory. We could probably take a few of these guys and move them north. I don't know. We'll deal with that one at a time. But while we're at it, why don't we rebuild Napoleon's army? What do you have in your... No, I don't want to... Do... Controls! I handled that very maturely. <laughs> Alright, Napoleon, you have one artillery unit left. Oh, you're only going to have two maximum anyway. All right, we'll move you over, we'll move you over. We need cavalry because cavalry was lost. So what do we need, 25? No, 15, because he's already got 10. Well, we're definitely gonna have a bunch of infantry in this army. Man, this other army just got gutted. Oh, yeah, I did my math wrong, apparently. Let's send over one more guy. And then we're going to send, I guess, Italians and Germans to defend the capital. Oh, no, no, no! Poop. That's not how I meant to do it. All right, you guys join Napoleon. Next turn, we'll have Napoleon move down here to chase these guys, I guess. Because I don't want to send the little army that way. Or if they run far enough away, then maybe Napoleon will go back towards Berlin so we can end that war. Kingdom of Westphalia created. French troops occupying Hanover, Westphalia, and Mecklenburg. These regions will join the German Empire, and you'll gain foreign units. We already have that. Allied card played Revolt in Spain! May be played after the French player is declared kingdom. The British player gains allied Spanish troops in Andalusia, Asturias, and Catalo Ca Catalonia. If French troops are present, a battle will be fought immediately. Oh my god, look at how big those revolt armies are, too. Well, everybody, this is kind of awkward, but that's the game. That is the end of the game. Unfortunately, it has a year limit like that. I wish it didn't, because we were doing pretty damn well. Our score was 376, the Allied score was 288. Final victory level, you've achieved a famous victory! And this is a list of all the battles we've been through. Destru defeated Austria, created North Italy, defeated Prussia, 
uh, join the Rhine together. We won some other battles other places. Man, I love this game. This game is so much fun. Defeated Austria. Most of the battles, you can see we just crushed the other guys. Later on, it's going to change some. Yeah, like that. The battle in Russia there. Oh my god, Russia was horrible. I never want to fight Russia again. I'm sorry that this is the end, but that's the limit for the thing. So how do we look at it? We defeated Spain. Well, we know we had a big enough army down there where we could kill all the rebels in Spain. We have a big enough army, we could go back and take Prussia. So I think in our alternate victory summary version, because we already defeated Russia twice, is I would think that Great Britain would have to eventually come to a compromise peace with us, and we would control all of Western Europe well, outside of Great Britain. So that's pretty cool. I'm sorry it doesn't have quite the, you know, feel of conquering England. I wanted to, but it's so hard to get them. And they kept playing those cards. All the allies joining up against us. And the important thing, though, is we survived. In real life, Napoleon, you know, was lost twice and was exiled. We did it. The French Empire lives on. So what is that? Liberty, fraternity, egality. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I don't know. Maybe I'll stream this again sometime. Stream this. I'm not on Twitch. Play this again. I don't know. It might be boring for people to watch again. I like this game, though. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Thanks for watching it all. And sorry it's such a quick just slam to the end. But that's just kind of how the game works. Take it easy, everybody.